Arriving at the boutique is mental health nurse Libby, who's marrying Chris in five months' time. Hi! Hi. You must be Libby. I am Libby, yeah. And who have you brought with you, Libby? I brought my mum and I brought my sister. Hello. Which one's your mum? This one's oh. my mum. <laughs> I mean, you do all look very alike. I'll take that. Yeah, I'm just going to say that to me. <laughs> How are you feeling, Libby? I'm all right. I'm nervous, yeah. You're nervous? Yeah. Well, we've, we've had one experience which was quite bad and I kept putting it off and putting it off because of that exact fear. Ladies, did you go along with Libby last time she went shopping? You yeah, did. Yeah. It was awful, really, yeah. They were trying to dress on for, like, a size 12. Fabulous. You know? Yeah, literally. Mm. They were like, well, yeah. can you hold it at the back just so you get an idea? Well, a size 12 wouldn't even fit my legs, so, I mean... So, I mean, there's quite a lot to choose from, to be fair. Now, this is gym membership right here, cos this creates the shape that it wants. You couldn't buy a corset as good as this. I want all my clothes to have it, but, you know... So, ladies... When we've looked at other stuff before, we've, she's never, ever looked at anything built up. So what have you looked at? I have seen some nice plus-size dresses, but I didn't know if they would be up to my size. So, yeah, I, I guess I thought I'd wear a plain dress. She's not really showing any excitement, enthusiasm. Do you have an issue with everyone looking at you? Are you looking forward to that bit? Oh, that's the bit I'm dreading the most. What, people seeing you and criticising, or...? Seeing what I see. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Neb. Crying. How embarrassing. <laughs> I really didn't think she would get upset because she never cries. Never, never about anything for herself. So it did shock me yeah. just how much that impacted, really. You know how I feel about you, my big sister. You're my hero, you're the one I look up to. How often do I dye my hair red just to look like you? It's not about anyone else, it's not about how others see you. And I think that's what you need to focus on, it's not what others think. And do you know what? I have the perfect wild card dress. <gasps> now, what do you know? So this one here... <laughs> so you're going to love it or hate it, but you will try it on, cos it's my house, my rules. <laughs> so, anyway... Yeah, I don't think I could pull that off, though. <laughs> oh, please. You'll be amazed. It's like putting on a coat of armour. Love it. I think it's beautiful. That was one of the ones I sent you. Libby is very kind, caring. Keep looking at this one. Do you want to try that one? Yeah, definitely. Because it's so arms. similar to that and we loved it. And this will be so flattering. It's just where the waist falls, isn't it, for you? Libby is a mental health nurse and that's a very caring role in the community. I know this one's quite plain, but I like the idea of the shoulders in that one. Right, OK, are you ready to start getting some dresses on? Ready as I'll ever be. Come with me, let's get some dresses on. You'll be fine, I promise. I'm with you. I I've got you back. Libby, mm. you haven't looked at yourself at all. Mm -hmm. You have not looked in that mirror. When you look in the mirror, what do you say? <sighs> oh, that. That's it. Just fat. I don't know why I do it, because I don't do it to other people. I just sit and look at everything. Do you get to a point where you just don't bother looking anymore? <sighs> My sister was quite badly bullied all the way through school, and then when I went up to secondary school, I saw it happening to other people, and I just couldn't allow it to happen. So that meant that I was then at the front line for the bullies to turn on me. I guess I became a target, and the thing that they targeted me for was my weight. Are you going to be OK? Yeah, I'll just have to do it. Yeah? Mm-hmm. OK, and stop and step up. OK. Open your eyes. You can open your eyes, Lib. Oh, my gosh. I like that it's <laughs> doing me a favour here. 
When I opened my eyes, I was overwhelmed in a good way. I felt confident, I felt beautiful, which I didn't think would happen. You're really brave because I know for you, Libby, coming out to this mirror was quite a big thing. So for you to be standing there looking at yourself in the mirror, you need to give yourself a pat on the back because this is quite hard for you. Mm. What do you guys think? It's really beautiful. You're beautiful. Knowing that there was a dress that fit me was enough. Just focus on that. It just, it made me feel hopeful that I would find a dress. You don't need to be petrified anymore. You know it looks lovely. This dress your sister loved, didn't she? Yeah, and I didn't. It's just very out there. But I don't feel bad now I've put it on. I feel OK. Good. I get a sense that you don't put yourself first sometimes. Well, my job is to care about other people, and I like doing that in my personal life as well. She kind of makes out she doesn't need reassurance, so nobody really gives it. She's told she's beautiful and she's loved every day, but if you get told it so often, I suppose it doesn't... You don't believe it. ..doesn't mean anything. OK, open your eyes. <laughs> I really didn't think I'd like this. It's the dance. I love it. I love it. I can't believe when I first saw that dress, I was so against putting it on. And had I gone anywhere else and not had Joe and Al there saying, try this dress on, there's no way I would have ever tried a dress on like that. Oh, Elizabeth. <sighs> Libby, what's brought those tears on? I didn't think I could feel like this, and I feel like a bride. <laughs> I love it. <sighs> I don't feel self-conscious. I can see myself walking down the aisle in this. I never thought I would put a dress on and feel like this, ever. I thought I'd settle and not feel horrendous. Tell but... me how you feel. You're talking about a feeling. What is that feeling? I don't know. I guess I feel a bit beautiful. <laughs> oh. Hold the line, Caller. <laughs> she feels beautiful. <laughs> well, we have a bride. Oh, Mum's oh. crying. Oh. Really lovely, darling. And now I'm quite excited. I can't wait to tell people I've got a dress and them not know anything about it until the day. And <laughs> yeah, I'm really looking forward to people seeing me in a wedding dress. <laughs> I know, <laughs> what a turnaround. <laughs>